I'm Lane. Uh, I run the uh, Osh Park Community PCB Order. Uh, I, I, I've seen a lot of, uh, if you've seen any purple boards, purple PCB boards out there, uh, those are, were probably run through uh, my service. Uh, my service helps uh, hobbyists and engineers get their, uh, their first PCBs um, uh, quickly and uh, inexpensively. Uh, I identify with hobbyists and, and uh, people who are kind of doing this as their, um, as their side projects, uh, playing with their, with their own electronics to learn and to help others learn. And uh, so that's really who I'm, I'm talking to here. Uh, uh, I am a fan of, the, of kind of the self bootstrap startup. Um, companies like uh, Sparkfun, and Ad Sparkfun and Adafruit are, are both two great examples of this. Um, companies who are uh, able to just kind of uh, build some projects using their own resources and, uh, and get them out in the world. Um, I'm also a big fan of, uh, of companies that, and services and technologies that uh, kind of speed up um, or that allow uh, and enable self-bootstrapping. These would be companies like, uh, like Shapeways and Pinoco and, uh, and Tech Shop and Big Blue Saw, uh, companies that, will, uh, that you can inexpensively send off your stuff to be, uh, to be fabbed in order to, to start the, uh, to build your prototypes and do those, those early models for, for everyone. Um, I, I like to think that Osh Park is on the list, uh, on that list as well. Uh, the best way to have a good idea is to have lots of ideas, and um, a great source of those ideas is, is kind of scratching your own itches. Um, it's now uh, possible, and, and lots of us are doing it, um, of kind of looking at, at our own lives, seeing the things that, that could be done better, that are bothering us, that um, uh, things that are broken in our lives, and, um, and building that first quick prototype. Um, uh, building a few of them, sharing them with your friends, talking about them in, in the social networks, uh, uh, putting them up for sale on Tindy, and doing this uh, and seeing where which of your itches other people share, and uh, and through that see um, what would be where you should be focusing your time uh, in order to uh, make money off of it, in order to um, to help others with the same problems that that you have. Um, we tend to not be good at figuring out which of our own ideas are, are good or bad, so uh, th I think that sort of engine of self-prototype, test, share, um, sell, and, uh, and evaluate is a, is a pretty good engine for figuring out uh, what, what we do that, that is, uh, is a good idea and um, what we should just kind of keep to ourselves. <laughs> so. Um, uh, Osh Park is, uh, is self-bootstrapped, um, though I run a service and not a products company. That this, this doesn't really um, uh, apply as much to me, but um, uh, a lot of the principles are the same. Um, we've, we've heard a bunch of these today, uh, things like uh, build a, a minimal viable product. Um, for, uh, for the first two years of its life, my service was the Dorkbot PDX uh, PCB service, uh, which, was, um, which I was doing for my local electronics group. Uh, we, uh, the minimum viable product for me was um, an email interface where you email me your files and I manually add them to a, pro to a panel and I send them in for manufacture and then, and then uh, look at the boards and figure out who's or who's and, 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 and mail them off. And uh, a bit accident prone, um, but, uh, but it, it, it served as a, as a good minimum viable product. It was something that, um, that there was enough interest in that I could, uh, that I could uh, build it up pretty quickly and um, and add features and speed things up and and um, and build my backend uh, technology to to take over to to uh, to optimize, which brings me to my my next uh, point. Uh, don't optimize prematurely. This is a software um, a software principle mostly, and, and that is that you do, you don't want to uh, spend a lot of time optimizing for things that aren't that turn out to not be that important. Um, since my service grew so, grew pretty slowly over that the first year, um, every time something really started to dominate my my waking hours, um, that was a sign that that's the piece that I should uh, I should automate, I should automate or, or spend some time optimizing. Um, uh, Optimization has costs. Um, it has time costs, money costs, and uh, it's very easy to spend a lot of time and money um, uh, optimizing things that um, 
that way before they need to be optimized. If you're if you're setting off to to if you're flying to Shenzhen to um, to get set up in your in your manufacturing and you and like no one else has shown any interest in it than you, then um, that that's probably not your best place to to um, to focus your costs. Um, I think it's now possible to bring a product to market to um, to sell the first few hundred or thousand uh, to build up that that interest um, uh, without um, with just the uh, the 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 tools and services that are available for everyone now, like right, again, like shapeways and three D printing and laser cutting, um, and uh, and board fabbing and self assembly. I think these these things are all uh, uh, are sufficient to get us to. Uh, to a pretty high level of a company before that, before then, partnering with manufacturing uh, manufacturers and filling that stuff out. Uh, my next principle is a uh, is plan for the worst and, con and contingency plan. Um, at several points in, in my PCB services um, life, it was uh, it it was to the point that um, that one or two bad panels would have uh, would have sunk the service and. Um, so hope for the best, but um, try and figure out what can go wrong, and um, and put in automated tests for it if you can. Check for it a, a, a test procedure if you can't, and uh, and just uh, have a contingency fund if, for those things that for when those things go wrong. Um, before I, I was just recently able to um, to quit my day job and start doing Osh Park full time, and um, the. Uh, before I would let myself do that, I really needed to know, um, I really needed to make sure that my last piece of contingency, that the one fab that I used um, would, would stay in business, um, which is not at all a sure thing in, in, U in US fabrication, in US manufacturing. It's, uh, the PCB fab industry has been, has been hit really hard in the last decade. Or um, things happen at the fab. Every now and then there's a fire. And um, uh, you'll, you'll, in the, my news feeds, I'll see like, ah, oh, this fab caught fire and has, and has stopped doing orders for, uh, for a month. And so I, I needed that sort of, um, that sort of redundancy. Um, I went out and, and, uh, and, did a, and spent a week uh, contacting a bunch of fabs all over the US um, to try and find ones with my specs, because I, I, I require pretty tight quality control specs. Um, and also, I wanted geographic redundancy. Um, all my, the, the fabs in the US tend to be clustered around uh, um, points of, of high-tech activity, like uh, Chicago, where Motorola uh, was born, or, or uh, in Arizona, where Texas Instruments did, all, did so much of its uh, development, and, and, uh, and of course, all over California. So I, I, I got uh, a fab in Arizona in, in, instead of my little cluster there. Um, and my, my last principle, um, get help. Uh, the, open, the open source hardware community is, uh, is full of really helpful people who um, love to offer assistance and, and, and help out these, these new companies. Um, for example, if I can help you, um, email me. I'm uh, lane at oshpark.com. Thanks.